Hola, me llamo Profesora Von Kennedy, and I'm an assistant professor in the Curriculum Studies and Secondary Education Department in the School of Education. Bienvenidos and welcome on behalf of all of us here at Sonoma State. I am excited to congratulate you on Juntar con Familia de Puerta and to welcome you to Sonoma State University. Thank you for choosing us. Today, I am going to introduce you to the Curriculum Studies and Secondary Education Department. We will begin with our department vision and mission statement, followed by a brief overview of the many opportunities for teaching and working with youth in our communities. Then, I will discuss our programs and content area preparation, as well as important opportunities for Puerta students. Then, we will revisit the goals of the Puerta program with some of the exciting ways that CSSE aligns with Puerta in order to support you and your goal of obtaining a credential to become a secondary educator. By now, I am sure you are well aware of the goals of the Puerta program. The goals of Puerta are at the heart of what we do in CSSE. So I wanted to revisit these three primary objectives and ask that you hold them in your mind as we learn more about what it means to become a teacher and how to accomplish that goal. I want to emphasize the first two goals. First, increase Latinx student persistence and graduation rates and increase the number of Latinx students who earn a teaching credential. Later, we will learn how Puerta's means for achieving these project goals align with our program. When you come to the Curriculum Studies and Secondary English Education Department, or CSSE, you will earn what is called a single subject credential. Basically, what we do is prepare you to teach in secondary schools, middle, junior high, and senior high schools, and our primary goals as a department are to help you develop the skills and knowledge needed to be an effective beginning teacher, as well as to establish professional attitudes for your professional growth throughout your career. In CSSE, social justice is part of our identity. It's in our DNA. It's in our vision statement. It's part of our core values. We see advancing social justice in schools and communities through excellence in education as our responsibility, not only to you, but to also prepare you to do the same for your future students. We pride ourselves in continuous reflection on justice-focused education. As you will hear later, our faculty work hard to design courses as well as create experiences and opportunities to help you become the best version of yourself in order to educate the next generation. Additionally, or perhaps more importantly, we begin from core values that shape everything we do. From learning about theories and education, or the big ideas, to equipping you with the tools and strategies in everyday practice to disrupt inequity, our core values reflect a belief that examining and respecting human difference are central to education and inclusivity, that collaboration and community partnerships strengthen our work. We believe in taking a critical and reflective stance in light of educational and social inequities and are committed to equity and access for all students. And we do this through promoting meaningful learning through theoretically sound and research-based teaching practices. So this is how it works. We need you to keep your eye on the prize. What does that mean? It means that you major in what you love, science, math, social studies. Are you a history buff? Do you love literature? Do you want to ignite a passion of the arts in students? Are you a musician? The good news is that any of these majors can lead into a teaching credential. At about your junior or senior year of your undergraduate degree, you will take foundation courses and prerequisites in education, such as schools and society, and development in adolescence and emerging adulthood. Then, after you earn your degree, you will start the single subject credential with us here at CSSE. In the year-long credential program, you will begin by taking coursework that addresses different aspects of teaching and includes fieldwork observation. During this phase, you will be in schools observing master teachers and interacting with the students that you will be teaching in the spring. You will get to try out small lessons in supportive environments. In your EDSS 444 courses, or your content area courses, you will learn strategies that help you approximate practice in the college classroom for your teaching with students. During phase two, you begin student teaching. This includes a seminar with fellow student teachers. You will be supported in the field by Sonoma State supervisors. And by the end of your student teaching experience, you will participate in what is called full immersion. 
This is your chance to shine, to be the teacher of the classroom. That includes after school clubs, faculty meetings, parent conferences, all of the work of being a teacher in addition to classroom teaching. Now, while we have to wait until you finish your undergraduate work, we look forward to seeing you in the foundational courses and prerequisites, and you are well worth the wait for the credential program. As I said before, we primarily prepare you to be a teacher in middle or high school settings. The single subject credential allows you to teach subjects or specific subjects such as English, math, science, social studies, music, art, and languages. And while all subjects taught in the public schools are important, there is a greater need for teachers in particular subjects. So getting a teaching credential in one of these areas helps reduce the shortage and may increase your chances of getting a job. High need subject areas include math, science, and Spanish. And while we want to encourage everyone to teach what they are most passionate about, high needs areas like math or science are really important. They prepare our students and the future generation to think critically and creatively to become mathematically and scientifically literate. As we've seen in the news, this has probably never been more important than now. There's a high demand across California, and those who choose to go into math or science teaching receive specific and additional support, such as undergraduate advising through the MESA program, trellis teacher scholars and North Bay residency programs that include financial support and years of mentoring. So you can earn any degree, but preferably in math or science or engineering, and either complete a math or general science subject matter preparation program or subject matter test, and then apply to the credential program. When you apply, we will help you access additional resources. Puerta provides many opportunities and supports for you through this process. They will ensure that you are on the right path, get additional help with applications and other processes, and will provide additional advising to keep you on track. CSSE offers so much. We have master's programs such as the Master's of Arts in Education with a concentration in curriculum teaching and learning. We have an MA in Teaching in the Works where you will be able to roll your credential credits into a master's degree. We provide support in STEM fields, Puerta, and we have amazing courses taught by passionate educators. We recently completed a Teaching Works Campus Fellowship where we learned to help you approximate practice, create measures for reflection, and ensure skillful teaching with high standards for students while acknowledging a broad range of competence, empathy, and ability to engage in meaningful ways in a democra democratic society and global economy. So, do you remember when I said to keep your eyes on the prize? Puerta is here to make sure that you have all of the support necessary to get to us in CSSE. This is important because the young people in our communities need you now more than ever. One aspect of the COVID-19 global pandemic is that now a new appreciation of the work of educators is more visible. It has also magnified existing systems of inequity. Now more than ever, we need teachers committed to a social justice mission. It's an exciting time to become a teacher. Our schools are more diverse than ever, and you represent the fastest growing demographic of students in public schools. Research shows that racially diverse schools benefit all students. As Garibay said in 2014, meaningful engagement with diverse peers and exposure to diversity issues in school prepares students for life in an increasingly complex and diverse society. While this is great news, there remains a lot of work to be done, especially when it comes to representation in the teaching profession. In data reported in 2016, only 20% of our public school teachers were of color, and 80% of teachers in the educator workforce were white. This creates what has been called a teacher gap, meaning students of color are not taught by teachers of color. It might be hard to see on the screen, but these graphs show where students are taught by teachers reflective of their identities. At the top left, you see white students, and the graph shows that nearly all of them are educated in districts with an over-representation of white teachers. The blue represents black students, the green Hispanic students, and the purple Asian. As you can see, the vast majority of students of color face a teacher gap, and Latinx students face teacher gaps in excess of 25% more than any other group. Our students need you. 
With a teaching credential, you can do many things. We've had candidates work for nonprofits, work in maker spaces, go into administration, policy, youth programs, and much, much more. Whatever path you choose, we know that you will have a meaningful, not just career, but life path in education. As some of our candidates in the secondary credential program can attest, it's the kids that make it all worthwhile. My name is Yalzin, and the reason I chose to become a teacher is because I wanted to give students of different backgrounds the opportunity to be taught by someone that's similar to them, while also encouraging and showing them that even with the tough situations that we all face, that they can make something positive of themselves. I had a lot of background with work, with working with that age group, so I knew that I liked them, and I liked their impulsivity and uh, their know-it-allness and uh, their capacity to find new things. Um, really interesting or the but, uh, you know it's it's funny you go into teaching thinking it's all about geeking out on literature but then it turns out you fall in love with helping the kids one cool thing that's happened to me is that I've had a lot of students come up to me and say I really like that lesson I, I really learned something, something new from that this is one of my best classes this is really working for me and that was just a very rewarding thing to, to hear and experience To conclude, Puerta's goals are to provide support for Latinx first-gen students, provide evidence-based high-impact programming, provide outreach and career development to enter the teaching profession, work with faculty and admin for resources, and to remove barriers for a teaching credential, and provide a dedicated space just for you. As you can see, everything is geared toward your success, and in that sense, the success of future generations when you complete your undergraduate and single subject credential to become a valued member of your community, a teacher. Gracias. Thank you very much for your time. Should you have any questions, you may contact Dr. Kelly Estrada, the department chair of CSSE at estradak.sonoma.edu.